software on your laptop. In this case, my keyboard is the old one from Casio LK Type 270. It's pretty old. The sound is quite uh, bouncy and clear, but I think the, the sound of the piano isn't real enough for me. It's, uh, that's why I would like to change the sound from Casio into the software later on. So basically, uh, Casio keyboard has a MIDI USB input at the back, along with the jack and sustain, and also the power cable. So all you have to do is connect the USB cable into a MIDI one. The cable is just like the same with the printer that you have at home. You just connect them, and also you need a uh, jack cable, I think the smaller one, 3.5 millimeters, so you have to connect almost all cable into your laptop. And for the output itself, we just connect the, the mini jack 3.5. So for the software itself, I installed the addictive keys that you can download everywhere, but unfortunately it is not free for you, so you have to buy and probably you will have the demo version of it. So basically, Addictive Keys is a software to connect MIDI controller, any kind of MIDI controller. It has so many different sounds of keyboards, such as the Studio Grand, Modern Upright, and also the Modern One, which is the so-called Mark 1 and it's pretty easy to use so you just connect everything to the cable that I've shown you and you just click the software and choose the sound that you want but don't forget you have to turn off the sound from your Casio keyboard by choosing the default number of the sound that has no data I think it's uh, somewhere between 570 yeah 571 make sure there is no sound coming out from your keyboard because the sound will come out from your laptop and we will see how it sounds the differences between the sound from the original Casio LK270 and the sound that comes out from the Addictive Keys software from your laptop. Let's check it out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe my channel. 
to see more tutorial videos next time. See you soon!